All right, want to get right to those flattest of flat screen TVs and the new really skinny camera. It's the Consumer Electronics Show. It's in Las Vegas, getting underway. Two million square feet of space. And our own uh, Becky Worley is standing by once again, technology contributor. So start us off. You've got the camera now. Uh, I do, Diane. This is the camera that we've all been looking at this morning. It's from Sony, and it is thinnest of thin, less than half an inch, and it takes fantastic pictures. The whole point is you want a camera that you can take with you anywhere you go, and this 10 megapixel camera fits into the pocket. It is thinnest of thin, and thin is in, especially when it comes to the LCD TV. Less than an inch thick, this LG LCD TV. And last year it was all about the biggest TV. This year it's about thinnest. So we have a 55 inch set and thin is important because it really makes for a more streamlined design in your living room. It weighs less and it doesn't have a ton of cords. This has a wireless transmission from your satellite box or from your uh, Blu-ray player. So really this is about design in the home. But is that gonna get interrupted a lot if it's satellite or can you guarantee that you'll always get your TV playing when you turn it on? Yeah, this is a big idea, this wireless transmission of media through the home, because people hate having so many wires around. The proprietary standard for this TV, very reliable. It's not exactly like your home broadband. But speaking of downloadable movies, streaming movies, this is the first portable Blu-ray high-definition DVD player that we're seeing. It's from Panasonic. And this not only can play these beautiful high-def movies, and it works wirelessly, you can take it on the go, but it also has a port so you can plug it into your home broadband and stream movies that you buy from Amazon. So we're seeing a lot of this convergence of Blu-ray DVD and streaming movies off the internet. And in fact, in future shows, I bet that the disc goes away and we're talking about movies off the internet exclusively. Yeah, everybody th seems to think it's heading in that direction. Now you already showed us the voice activated alarm clock in the morning, but there's a lot of voice act activated technology of other kinds out there I hear. That's right. I'm going to this is extreme shooting here. I'm going to go down to the floor and show you a car whose uh, media center is exclusively voice and personalized by celebrities. It's from a company called Grace Note and Voxonic Car Stars. And the idea is that you have a personalized guide who's a celebrity. In this case, it's hip hop star Mims. I see you're driving by the beach. Would you like to listen to some of my favorite beach music? His voice not only tells you, hey, I noticed from your GPS that I, you're by the beach, but it also says, I'm gonna, I've got some ideas, a playlist. I just hit yes, and his playlist suggestion for me starts going. Pretty cool. Now, this may be one of the coolest things that we see at CES. It's email that gets into your car. So what we do is you set up your email account, and then it's from a company called Azentech, your email is set up in the car and it can hey, read Bucky, for you. I am watching your Good Morning America segment and I just wanted to say you look fabulous. Take care. Chuck. <laughs> I love this email in the car. It says I look fabulous and I can yeah. keep my hands on the wheel and my eyes on the road. And it reads your email to you. Can you respond Read by voice? Email to you. Uh, we're not there yet, and maybe that would be too distracting. You know, yeah. well, Chuck, I do look fabulous. Thank you. People would think you're crazier than they already think you are. <laughs> right. And just a quick thing. Are prices coming down? Are you seeing them come down because of the recession? I think the economy is a big part of the story here, and we've seen some budget awareness, but what we're really seeing is innovation slowing down. So we may not see quite as many things coming out because people realize, hey, we've got to trim our research and development bur uh, budgets, mm -hmm. and we've really got to recognize that America is pinching pennies and get technology into that sweet spot. Okay, well, thanks for the preview. That's Becky Worley, and you can find out more about all those products that she identified on our website, abcnews.com. Coming up, Tim Daly of Private Practice. Kate. Okay, Marisol will join me now, and let's release our inner nerd. Geek is chic, and nowhere is that more obvious than the Consumer Electronics Show, where GMA technology contributor Becky Worley found out girls are finally getting in on the gadget game. Mm -hmm. 